Let's go ahead and factor a third degree polynomial. All right, so to do so, what we're going to do first is list off what are the possible rational zeros. All right, and then we'll test these using synthetic division, figure out one that works, and go from there. So the possible rational zeros are going to be given by factors of the constant term, in our case 4, that last term, over factors of the leading coefficient, 2. So factors of 4 go as 1 times 4 would make 4, or 2 times 2, but I'm only going to list one of those. All right, and then 2, we can get that by 1 times 2, or 2 times 1, but we only need one copy. Next off, all the possible rational zeros are going to be either positive or negative of these fractions. We can do 1 over 1, we can do 2 over 1, or 4 over 1, and then we could line these all up over the 2. So we could say 1 over 2, or we could say uh, 2 over 2, but 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1, and that's already in our list. Or we could try 4 over 2, but again, 4 over 2 is the same thing as 2, that's already in our list, so we're not worried about that one. So let's get rid of that. Another thing you want to be careful of on this is you can't reverse the order. So we can't say 1 over 4 because that's the wrong order for numerator and denominator. So that's not a possibility. All right, so we have eight possibilities, right? Positives of all these values and negatives of all these values as well. So let's start testing these. And if I'm testing these, I'm testing all of the integer values first before I even attempt this positive 1 half. But that's just me. I don't like doing synthetic division with fractions, if at all possible. So to get us started here, let's go ahead and test. We can start wherever we want, but let's go ahead and first test 2. 2 works sometimes. All right, with our synthetic division up above, what we want to do is we want to list out these coefficients for each one of our uh, terms. Since we aren't skipping any powers of x, right, we have x to the third, x squared, x to the first, and a constant, we don't need any zeros as placeholders. So that goes as positive 2, 5, negative 11, and 4. All right, and then remember, for synthetic division, what we're going to do is first multiply, and then we add. And we just keep repeating this process until we're done. So this 2 comes down. We're going to multiply by the red 2 out in front by that value at the bottom. So 2 times 2 makes 4. Now we add vertically. So 5 plus 4 makes 9. Then we're back to multiply. So 2 times 9 makes 18. Add negative 11 plus 18 makes positive 7. Multiply. 2 times 7 makes 14. And add. We end up with 4 plus 14 makes 18. All right. That's not really what we want. Looking at this last value, that's the remainder, and we would like that to be a zero. So what that tells us is two did not work. Two is not going to be a zero for this function. Uh, next, let's apply, let's just try one. One's pretty easy to work with. Multiplying by one gives you the same value. So we still have two, five, negative eleven, and positive four go up here. First digit, the two comes down. And we're on to our multiply step. So 1 times 2 makes 2. Add 5 plus 2 is 7. Multiply 1 times 7 is 7. Add negative 11 plus 7 makes negative 4. Multiply 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. And add this time we do end up with 0, which is what we're looking for. So this one works. So that indicates to us that one of our zeros is positive 1, that value out in front. Now let's think about factoring this. All right, because zeros and factors kind of go hand in hand. Because 1 worked out to have a remainder of 0, that tells us it's a 0. It also tells us that we get a factor, x minus 1 is going to be one of our factors. Now next to this, what we can do is go ahead and list out the quotient is going to be another factor. That's going to come from these, these values at the bottom of our synthetic division are going to turn out being basically the coefficients. So the negative 4 is a constant. That's a number. And then we have an x and an x squared. And it just keeps kind of counting up, right? We go x to the first power, then x to the second. If we had another digit down there, it would be an x cubed. 
All right, so we're going to list that out, hanging out next to this. So we're going to say 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. Now, at this point, we do have a quadratic, right? We've brought this down to an x to the second power. So hopefully, we're comfortable factoring that by hand, meaning not bringing out anything special. If you're not comfortable, you could always pull out the quadratic formula to help you get additional zeros. Uh, you could pull out the AC method, maybe, is a very handy thing to know about. But this is going to factor as 2x and x to make that 2x squared, our first term. And thinking that through, I think we have to go 1 here and 4 here. We're going to go positive 1 and negative, sorry, negative 1 and positive 4 as we go through this. We can double check with FOIL if we wanted to to make sure that we factored it completely. All right, from here, the zeros, remember we said 1 went with x minus 1. The 2x minus 1 is a little bit more difficult, but we're thinking, what would I need to plug in for our x? in order to make that equal zero. If that's tough to do in your head, go ahead and just set it equal to zero. Kind of a side equation here. Do a little bit of solving down by adding one and then dividing both sides by two. And hopefully you'll see that if you replace the x with a one half in that factor, it would make that factor equal zero. All right, finally, what plus four makes zero? Well, negative four. So all of our zeros or roots or x-intercepts for this Third degree polynomial are going to be positive 1, positive 1 half, and negative 4. And we went ahead and factored it completely. So I hope this helps out as you get working on these, testing different possible rational zeros, and figuring out, first of all, which one works. Um, and then going from there, hopefully you got down to a quadratic and you can factor that by hand. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working with these.